Hello my friends and welcome to the to a new video and a new special video on our BN channel. So last night uh, on uh, on Friday 9 p.m. I made a live stream and unfortunately unfortunately that live stream was pretty much not successful because of this stupid computer that I'm using. This thing has an AMD 8320 eCPU which is really really bad. It's my backup computer because my main computer unfortunately the motherboard died on me and it's currently in the shipping. A cool fan on Discord bought me a new motherboard and I cannot wait to receive it and do an unboxing video about it. As you can see we have three cars here. Two of those cars are from last night live stream which I'll be testing right now I made some modifications on them and I completed them because they were pretty much un not completed or uncompleted and the third car which is that pickup back there as you can see this is a special car or a special vehicle that I want to try because this is my first ever track day pickup truck Yes, I know I made in the past the fastest pickup truck or the most powerful pickup truck in automation game which has like 3500 horsepower but that pickup truck was only for top speed, for straight line performance. This thing that you are seeing right now, this is for handling and straight line performance, you know, both worlds. So let's see how it would perform. But let me talk, but first let's, let's talk about those two cars. So this is a cool idea. Uh, last night the viewers has requested which is a hyper limo a limo with a very powerful engine up front and At the same time, it's still a limo So it has a very very luxurious interior and a very very luxurious entertainment system It's all-wheel drive. This thing has a 4.2 liter boxer 6 twin turbo as you can see all-wheel drive making around 707 horsepower, you know Hellcat territory it's very smooth, it's very powerful, and it's very quick. And as you can see, it's it's somehow retro and modern at the same time. So it has this boxy 1975 body style, as you can see, plus 2019 fixtures like the headlights, the aerodynamical features, the, the internals of the engine, of course, the interior of the car. Everything is 2019, except, you know, the, the, the beautiful square body style from the 70s. And also the second car that I'm going to show you, which is the, this one. This one, it's, it's from last night live stream. This is a, the idea behind this car was a commie car, a communist car. That was the requested, uh, the, the, you know, the requested idea behind this car, which built a cheap, bad designed communist car or commie car. I've never made any commie car before and I have no idea about, you know, communist cars, but People last night helped me you know, in their comments about what kind of engine to use, what kind of interior, what kind of everything to use. And we'll be, do we'll be testing that also on this track. So this Kami car here, it's called the Zumi, I think. Yes, the Zumi Turbo. As you can see, I made some modifications on the tail lights, on the side, on the front. I made it a little bit, a little bit you know, respectable looking. So this thing has a 2.5 liter, yes my friend, a 2.5 a two liter inline four turbo with two single barrel eco carburetors and a turbo. So it's a very very weird combination. This engine made an amazing noise when it, when it, when it was on the dyno on automation game. This thing made a very very amazing noise. There is no turbo lag whatsoever, the turbo is working. The moment you start the engine on idle, the turbo is making uh, some boost and it's uh, and it's making its amazing noise, as you will be hearing in a moment. And of course, this as you can see, we are right now on the West Coast test track or race track, as they call it, and we'll be driving all these three cars and see how will they perform. So enjoy the video as always, and let's have fun driving those three amazing creations. All right, my friends, so the first car that we are going to drive is this one. It's called the Stormer, as you can read the name, Stormer Turbo. This thing is all-wheel drive. Basically, it's a limo. It has, uh, let's see, two benches, a bench in the, mi in the middle, a bench at the rear. I know it's a weird combination because the bench in, in the, you know, in the limo should be on the sides, but automation game don't allow that. So, yeah, you can assume this thing has, you know, benches on the side. Two seats up front, so two, six, six, so we have... Sorry, not, yeah, two six. We have, let's see, seven eight. We have eight person car, which I think it's appropriate for limo. As you can see, look at the rear. It's pretty 
modern and beautiful at the same time the side is pretty normal nothing special really indicators everything is working as you can see we have also wipers on the front headlights you know a little retro fixture on this car we have also a hood ornament for the for the for the badge which is, which is really awesome aerodynamical features it's pretty awesome let's see how it will perform here we go three two one and Go, controlling it manually this thing has hydromatic something springs which they are extremely comfortable yep and it's a drift machine look at that oops a little bit on the grass So it's pretty heavy, three and a half tons, three and a half tons, that's why it's, it feels like a bus. Wow, it feels really heavy. I mean 700 horsepower and it's pretty slow, but it's really smooth. If you are driving it slowly, oh, it's beautiful. Look at that, even flat out right now, feels very smooth. Look at that. Look at the brakes now, test the brake performance, and here we go. Oh my god, stopping, stopping three and a half tons. really heavy but it's beautiful and it's so much fun and it's very luxurious so it's like drifting a hotel room now check out this corner which is very very awesome I'm not timing the lap, I just want to see how to perform as a fun car. Alright, so we have tested some somehow the performance of this car. Yes, it's not the fastest car at all and it's not really a quick car, it's just a smooth, powerful, fast ride, you know, for parties or for just having fun. Now as you can see there is a, a little unique feature which is this, the tow hitch or the tow hook whatever you want to call it. This is a requested thing by a viewer last night on the on the live stream. So let's test that as well and see if it actually work or not. Alright so I'm not gonna bother with you know the small banana or something like a trailer. I'm gonna go just fully on with a fully on home trailer or you know whatever they call these because they are heavy they have all the they have all like the the appliances inside them so you press L to engage the tow hook you reverse into that here we go it should be connected yes everything is perfectly aligned I like it it's actually that bumper the bumper mount or the the mounting area for the tow hitch it's perfect it's perfectly aligned with the with the whatever they call this you know trailer home or something so let's see how to perform yes i know we, we may crash it will crash easy but i need to be careful so yes you are driving along with your limo and your home back there your, your luxurious home so stopping very gently and lowering it here we go not bad actually going look at that slowing it actually pretty decent using a limo as a towing car it's not bad going at 700 horsepower for the wind so we have seven 3.5 uh, tons up front and whatever this thing weighs back there so i think four tons we are we are currently the engine is currently pulling like four tons plus the driver and the passengers Look at that, it's currently on 7th gear 
and it's not bad. Look at that, I'm, I'm using the automatic mode, which is very smooth. Very cool, look at that, so automatic mode. Very, very quiet, very beautiful. Of course, if I want to floor this thing, it will fly and we will crash easily, but what's the point in that? Yeah, the point is very simple, fun. Here we go, coming up to the corner. The trailer home is struggling to keep up. Here we go. Straight line performance, flat out, 700 horsepower, and yeah, we are barely going 160, 170 ish. Wow, this engine is really struggling. And stop. The brakes are not bad. Let's get back to normal, smooth, automatic mode. Wow, it's pretty awesome. Not bad. Wow. Stopping, 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 and going down, throwing it. So I think with a trailer, or you know, with this home trailer, something, the top speed will be like 200 kilometers per hour, 200-ish, but no more than that. I don't yeah, as you can see, it struggles to keep up. And as you can see, we have destroyed the tow, the tow hook or the tow hitch, as you can see, because it's not aligned perfectly. Yep, as you can see. So it's uh, the idea or the concept. Yes, it works. You can you can tow things behind you, but a 700 horsepower engine, it's already struggling to pull a three and a half ton car and adding you know a ton back there with this you know tra trailer home, whatever you want to call it. Yes, it's, it can do it, but you will sacrifice uh, comfort, you will sacrifice speed, you will sacrifice the fuel efficiency if you care about it or not, it's up to you. But it's not bad and the concept work. So that's pretty much it for this car. Let's move on with the next vehicle. Alright my friends, so the next car is called the Zumi Eco Turbo. As I've mentioned before, 2.5 liter. Uh, two single barrel carburetors, eco, eco carburetors with, with a turbo. And as you can see, the RPM range is not really great, but I promise you the turbo is making boost. The, the turbo is just pushing boost from, from the beginning on idle. It's pushing boost, which is really awesome. But apparently not in BMNG, no, that's not really happening. So yeah, let's see how to perform. Remember, it's three-wheel drive, open differential, so I think we can have some fun. 100 horsepower or 100, 115 horsepower, I think, uh, and 146 half feet of torque. So it's not bad. Let's see if we can do a burnout. Yep. Burnout love a commie burnout because it's a communist car. That was the requested thing behind it. Listen to that boosted engine. The RPM range is not really great. Yes, we have rear drums. Come on. Yep, a tail happy car. 
It's not bad, actually. It's it's pretty nice to drive. The quality is not great. Most of the parts were on like minus five, minus fifteen quality. So yeah, quality and reliability. It's not really a good thing, but it works. Look at that tail happy car. This thing will be pretty awesome on dirt. I really want to try this on dirt. So let's see how it will perform. They will drive, remember? There we go, first corner. Wow! They will drive! And it's, and it's coping really nicely. Look at that, I'm using the handbrake and everything. It's, it's not the quickest car in the world, but it's pretty much so much fun. Wow, solid axle, solid uh, axle coil back there. Double wishbone front suspension. We will drive. Five-speed manual. Look at that! It's beautiful. Wow, it's so much fun. Floor it, floor it on a corner, and it will keep up. And brake, floor it. I've never expected a real drive car made in automation game that can go on dirt this much fun. Usually, not usually, always, I always use an all-wheel drive car on this track. I mean, always. But, this thing is pretty fun. It's pretty fun. So this thing, this thing is not really a track car. No, it's not really a track car at all. It's really bad on the track. But on the street, it's not bad. And on dirt, on, on a dirt track, it, you, you will have so much fun with it. It's really awesome. And it can do a burnout anywhere. So that's pretty much that, that's pretty much it for this car i love it and i'm gonna keep it in my collection because i'm pretty proud of it my first ever rear wheel drive car on dirt that is actually fun not spinning out not wrapping it around the tree really awesome so let's move on with the third car and test that track monster which is that pickup truck let's go to that racetrack and see how to perform all right my friends so this is the trapper which is a track focused pickup truck my first ever one uh, so as you can see we have a rear carbon fiber rear diffuser carbon fiber lip spoiler as you can see the body is made from aluminium we have a light advanced high stamina steel light truck uh, light truck chassis underneath we have as you can see a carbon fiber lip up front all the amazing fixtures to make it a beautiful looking pickup and as well uh, and uh, of course a track weapon it has active aerodynamics on it as you can see carbon fiber roof scoops and a single seat of course because it's a racing car uh, we have also advanced safety equipment inside it you know like a roll cage and a harness and everything this thing run is running on uh, on what do you call it uh, racing fuel which is 100 octane fuel i know that racing fuel is more than 100 octane fuel but you know an automation game they call it an ultimate fuel which is 100 octane fuel 
let's see what else we have yes a four and a half liter v8 up front natural aspirated making 680 horsepower i think all-wheel drive track focused suspension double wishbone front suspension and push rod rear suspension carbon ceramic brakes and so on you know the full package so and of course i have nitrous oxide on it you know just for the just for a little help if i need it and of course the exhaust is shooting flames no not for that yep so let's see how it will perform then three two one sequential gearbox by the way zero to hundred and two point two seconds The engine is just powerful on its own. But on a straight line, I'm gonna use nitrous. Which is right now. So that's pretty much it my friends i really hope that you enjoyed those three cars the limo also that uh, commie car the zoomy and also this pickup truck which is the uh, trapper i really really had so much fun it's super grippy i mean it, this thing reminds me with the tiala racer which is a, a sports car or racing car that i made before which sticks on the road like super glue i mean the tiala is much fast much, much much more faster than this but this thing reminds me with the grip of that so I do really hope that you enjoyed this video my friends and I apologize for last night's live stream I tried to go online again 
in bmage.ry but unfortunately i couldn't because of this computer so thank you so much for guys for watching as always don't forget to hit that thumbs up get subscribed share the video if you want to share it and of course to share your thoughts with me in the comment section tell me what do you think about those three cars and which one would you like to drive and of course if you want to download all these three cars the link in the description below to my patreon page you can go to my patreon page sign up to it and uh, download all these three cars plus all of my previous special cars like the v16 queen and the toyota a86 replica the porsche 911 carrera the classic one replica all these cars are available right now on my patreon page the link in the description below and of course by signing up to my patreon page you will be giving me more motivation to do much 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 more videos and challenges thank you so much guys for watching i will see you very very soon with more videos and thank you so much for your amazing support and for your awesome comments and for your amazing time on on my previous live stream and hopefully my when my computer starts working again i'm going to be doing more live streams very very soon thank you so much and have an amazing time and stay safe always and goodbye for now my friends